Hey guys, we're going to look at the difference between a formula and a function. What is the difference between a formula and a function in Microsoft Excel? And a lot of students get this confused. So let me explain this and hopefully this is going to make a bit more sense to you. All right. Have a look at my example here. Here I have in row number one, I've got 45, 45, 45. And I'm going to add these together. I'm going to add them together just manually. So there's the answer, but I'm going to type it in as somebody normally would. So Go equals and I'm going to I can either go 45 plus 45 plus 45 all right but we know that in Microsoft Excel it's always better to use cell references always better okay so I'm gonna go equals and I'm gonna say a1 plus b1 plus c1 and I get my answer so that is a formula Okay, this is a formula. I'm going to type it in here. Formula. A formula is a way of solving a problem. It's steps you, that you take to solve a problem. Okay, that's what a formula is. So here we decided, okay, to work out how much these uh, are added up all together. We did A1 plus B1 plus C1. There it is there. Okay, that's a formula. Let's have a look at the next one now. So here we have uh, 45 and 45 again. However, this time I'm going to use a function to do the adding for me. So I don't have to come up with a formula anymore. I'm going to use a function that will do the work for me. And because I'm adding, I have to get the sum of these numbers. I'm going to use the sum function. Now, this is where the difference between a formula and a function should be clear. Whereas a formula is you working out each step and calculating everything on your own, a function does all of that for you. You just say, I want you to figure this out, and it does the steps for you. So here, you can see we're going to use the sum function. And the sum function, as it says in my little tooltip here, adds all the numbers in a range of cells. So let's do that, okay? Equals sum, I open up my parentheses, and this is the best part, I just select the range, A2 to C2, so A, A2 to C2, sorry, <laughs> what happened? A2 to C2, that's it, I just select all of the, cell, the cells that I need, close that off there, so that is a function, so let's see if it works out correctly, absolutely fantastic, and that is a function. All right, let's have a look at another example. So here, you can see I want to work out the average of these three numbers, 76, 79, and 74. And I want to work out the average of these numbers. So to work out the average, we add these three together, and then we divide it by three, because there are three numbers, okay? That is a formula. So let me write that down again. A formula, there we go. And how did I do that? Well, I just went equals. Remember, we always start with an equals before we do anything. And I got equals A1 and plus that plus that. Okay. Now, because we're going to be dividing, i got to remember my rules in math. So I put that all in parentheses and divide it by 3. And that gives me the average. Okay. So that was a formula. I manually worked it out myself, step by step by step. Now, we can use a function to do this for us instead. So a function really does make life easier. So equals, and I've got a function called average. There you go. So I just say, right, equals, average, select the range of numbers that I'd like it to work with, complete the parentheses there, and there you go. And that, let me just type that in for completion's sake. There we go. I hope that makes sense. I hope you've understood the difference between a formula and a function.